And we return with the story of Diego Ortiz. To kick off this episode, you can see here we're having a little little evening dinner with our strike partner, Prato. And well, he set us a little bet. Whoever scores the most goals over the next three games gets to pick the loser's haircut. We're going to agree with that one. We're in fine goal scoring form. So surely we should be able to pick Prato's haircut come the end of these three games. Well, the first of those three games is going to get against Gymnasia. Not Gymnasia, Gymnasia. But you can see here we are in fifth place in the league. We're not doing too good. We are struggling. Oh, I'm not struggling. The team is struggling though defensively. But this is going to be the first part of a new thing I'm going to make called My Player Mondays. And it's going to be a double upload just because I'm really enjoying the My Player. And I want to upload it twice. So that's pretty simple, isn't it? But nine minutes into the game against Gymnasia. Maybe Gymnasia, I don't know. But we're going to look to receive the ball on the edge of the box. No one again is passing to us. In the end, we have to lay it off. And a lovely strike from our teammate Fernandez puts us 1-0 up 11 minutes into the game. What a strike that was. That was his second goal of the season. That's probably going to be his best one. Because that is a phenomenal strike from about 20 yards out from a central midfielder but we do receive the ball again in a similar area gonna maybe find Prato we're not gonna pass to him though we don't want him to score we want to choose his haircut but half an hour in we receive the ball as being played through on goal we play it off to Prato he leads it off to the cam in Quintero and look at this run we're continuing the run the right back is gonna play it to us we're gonna almost get to it but we're actually offside there unfortunately for us so it wouldn't have counted either way 47 minutes in, we play it to Prato. He's dropped quite deep there, actually, and it is end up to us on the edge of the box, but it tackled quite easily there, unfortunately. And Gymnasia are on the attack. Lovely tackle there by the centre-back, though, to deny that attack from even starting, even getting any momentum. But it's whipped across, and the centre-back was out of position. And it is 1-1 in the 50th minute. And this is exactly what I'm talking about with defensive problems. We're just defensively not that good. I mean, scoring, all right, I'll carry us with that. Nice little shot there, but it did not go in, so didn't even challenge the keeper. It's actually a poor shot. But with three minutes left in the game, we play it to Prato. He plays it back to the camp. Then the central midfielder, he is going to find us on the edge of the box. We turn our man nicely, strike it. Nowhere near enough power on that one. We're going to win the game with an 8.8 .8 rating with one assist, two shots which were both on target, neither of which were goals. So nothing is helping us towards our bet as of right now, but we did get an 8.7 rating and a good passing accuracy. See there, both our shots are in very similar areas, and it's not good. We need a goal if we're going to want to beat Prato in this competition. But the next game is against Estudiantes, away from home, and we're pretty good form away from home. We, are, we like scoring away from home, turning up and ruining people's days. Five minutes into the game, we play the ball through to Prato. He plays it right back to us. We try and play him through, and then he plays a terrible free ball to the left back. Nowhere near him. And they do eventually get that one clear. The cam, Quintero is not playing for some reason, but we do play it through again to Perez this time. And 11 minutes into the game, we have another assist. And it is 1-0. I think it's the same minute we scored in the previous game, actually. The same minute we assisted a goal. So that's pretty, pretty impressive there. But an assist 11 minutes into the game, 16 minutes into the game, Prato's header is cleared. And that was probably going in, so we're actually pretty thankful that he didn't score there. But Prato out wide, whips one across to us, and we head it home. He couldn't score his header. We go and score ours. 20 minutes in, we're continuing our run really nicely there, actually. Unfortunately, we didn't get chosen, but Prato plays it down to the left back. Then we're going to receive it on the edge of the box. We turn, play it through again to Perez. He chips it up and volleys it. It is off target, hits the side netting, unfortunately. 24 minutes in, though. We are still on the attack. We're all over this team. The brilliant free ball to the right back. Whips on the cross. Unfortunately, it goes out for a corner. We maybe would have got our head on that one had it actually got past that defender. But we're going to look to get our head on this one. And the centre back jumps up and steals it from us. That was going right, the trajectory of right for Diego Ortiz's head. And the defender goes and steals it. Martinez makes it 3-0. Prato has yet to get a goal in this game. So maybe he's struggling here. But De La Cruz receives the ball there. He wins a free kick. Perez is standing over it. 
And he's gone and got a brace. Perez makes it 4-0. 35 minutes into the game. We've assisted him once. And then he's gone and got a free kick. And a brilliant free kick at that. 4-0. This game's wrapped up. We're getting three points in this game. I can confirm that right now. But it's just about how many goals we will score. Good defending there from the defender. Clears it. But only as far as one of their defenders. And the header there. Nowhere near enough power. The goalkeeper can easily catch that one. Into the second half though. Prato plays it through. We were just offside unfortunately there. So it's lucky that Perez actually went for that one. And dinked it across. We couldn't quite win the header. But this highlight still goes on as we receive the ball on the edge of the box. And we look to find some men in the box. There's not really anyone creating any chances. Prato's there. We lay it across. He turns and strikes it. And tries to turn and strike it in one fluid motion. That didn't work. And it went well wide of the post. We asked for the ball there. We lose out to the man marking us. They're going to play it to the edge of the box. First time strike. And that's the third or fourth time that our keeper's been beaten by a strike like that. Just before the hour mark, it is 4-1 to River Plate. Here, we head off. preto has been taken off. He's not having the best of games. But we do receive the ball. We lay it off to the right back. Back into the central midfield. Our new strike partner. We play it through. And he tries to play it back for some reason instead of striking it himself. And that could have been 5-1. That could have been another assist for us. But we take the ball there. A really nice turn. It falls to the strike partner. Laid off to us. We play it back to him. He's going to play it out wide. Back to us in the middle. And we are through into the box. We cut back. We're going to look to lay it across to the edge of the box. First time strike. And that's going to be the final highlight of the game. Unfortunately, it didn't go in. And we're going to get a 9.5 rating. One shot, one goal. And one assist. 92% passing accuracy is brilliant. As the manager says, incredible passing. And we're racking up an impressive number of key passes this season, which is brilliant to see as well. As we move in to the third and final game of the bet. And we are 1-0 up right now. 1-0 up. And in this game, we're going to hope that Prato doesn't score. And actually, he plays us through five minutes into the game. We're 1-1 one -on -one with the keeper. And we strike it. We hit the crossbar. Open goal to head it into. And we hit the crossbar again. Diego Ortiz, man. How unlucky can you get? You want to score goals and just stuff like that happens. But 15 minutes into the game, we receive the ball in the edge box. We play it through. Through to Prato. Takes a touch instead of striking that one himself. He needs the goal, man. Or we're choosing his haircut. 41 minutes in. The ball is cleared upfield. And Prato heads it down to us. We take a poor touch and actually lose out to the defender. And they're going to counter here. They've got a man over at the back post. He's actually going to get to it before the keeper can. And he puts it underneath the keeper. And we go 1-0 down. Away at home, sorry. And it's just not good. Not good form. Approaching the halftime whistle. We play through the cam. It falls to the edge of the box to Prato. That's just not a good shot. But 53 minutes into the half. We're into the second half. And we need a goal if we want to draw this game. And, well, here's a chance. We're played through. We've got a man in the middle. We've cut it back across to. And we are offside. How poor. An hour in. We play through. De La Cruz. He's going to whip one across. He's actually going to strike. You should have whipped one across there, De La Cruz. This time he does. And, well, that's probably why he didn't cross it in the first instance. That almost goes out for a throw-in. We're going to take it down, though. Head it out wide. It's going to be whipped across. Prato gets his helmet. Great save by the keeper to deny us and keep it at 1-0 to his team. As we move into the 85th minute, there's five minutes left in this game. And, well, no one, as it stands for our team, looks like they're going to score. Ortiz calls for the ball down the wing. He's going to look to cut inside past his man. Does so nicely. Plays it back across. Played centrally. Played back to Ortiz. Strikes it. Blocked. Plays it through. It's then played through to Prato who scores at the near post. And he makes the scoreline for the series 1-1. One, one. And he has one minute left. And well, because we both had one goal, Prato had more assists than us, I'm pretty sure, in that three games. That means he gets to choose our haircut. And well... You're not going to believe what he chose. We're currently driving down to the barber shop that he chose. He's already given the ordinance to the hairdresser. And well, let's just take a look at what Prato has chosen for us. Hopefully it's not too bad. Hopefully it's a well presentable haircut. Because we've got awards to be going to. 
we've been nominated for another Player of the Month award. And well, it's a mohawk. He has chosen to give us a mohawk. Thanks a lot, Prato. Thanks a lot. Diego Ortiz is the proud rocker of a mohawk. Hamsich esque mohawk, should I say. As we move into the fourth and final game of the episode, three minutes in, Ortiz receives the ball, plays it down to Quintero, to the centre mid, through to Prato, strikes it first time. It's very close to putting us 1-0 up, but here we're played through, one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. The Mohawk's given us a bit of aerodynamics, we're quicker than ever. 16 minutes into the game, we are 1-0 up. If only we could have scored that goal in the last game, we would have got to pick Prato's haircut. Unfortunately not though, but the team's 1-0 up, that's all that we care about. This team needs to get into some good winning form. We're played through once again, 26 minutes in, we're taken out in the box. And it's a penalty kick to River Plate. Unfortunately, Diego Ortiz's penalty kicks aren't the best. Prato's actually going to step up for this one, and he's going to tuck it home. It's a lovely finish there. And the strike partners, they're not in competition anymore. They are just, just a friendly little rivalry they're both scoring goals they're both assisting each other 37 minutes into the game Ortiz is going to lay it off to Fernandez played down to the left back it's going to get whipped across and with his mohawk he tries to slide in he doesn't want to damage the mohawk but just before half time 40 minutes into the game we have one final highlight of the first half and Ortiz is going to receive the ball he plays it up to Quintero to Prato Back through to Ortiz. Gets the better of his man. Strikes it at the near post. And he makes it 3-0. The brace for Ortiz. And let me tell you now, nothing happened in that second half. No shots for Ortiz. He finishes the game with a brace and a kind of an assist. He won the penalty. I'd give that. But that is how the game's going to end. That is how the episode's going to end. Hope you guys have enjoyed. We've had some good goal scoring form. We've got a new haircut. If you've enjoyed, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the episode later on.